What's going on, everyone? It's Rich Hayward here from Bacon Ice Cream Productions and Team RTFC, welcoming you to yet another episode of Good Times with Retro Rich. So today's episode, I want to confess something very, very important to you. I love video game music. That's right. Love it. Listen to it all the time. I search for different cool tracks to listen to. I just absolutely adore video game music. And hopefully some of the people that are watching this channel right now do too. Why? Because I want to just kind of like dive in and learn a little bit more about the video game music that I've been hearing on all these great games that I've been exploring in the Sega Master System past, the arcade, on the Evercade, on the Atari, on all these things. I just kind of like dig in deep, find out more about the composers, find out more about what they've done. Maybe that'll lend to more fun for fives later. You know, me trying to like hunt down, you know, this, if I find a new composer that I really like, you know, go in and just grab all the things that they've ever done and then, you know, gr collect them, do, do fun for fives for them and just kind of expand things. But just really, it kind of just, I don't know. I always wanted to kind of play uh, DJ you know, like on a radio station. It was, it was something that I, I always wanted to do when it, since I was a little kid. And you know what? You know, that, that reality is never going to ha happen for me. But I could just have just maybe a little bit of, of, this, of this taste, of the taste of the DJ glory by picking out tracks and then just, you know, sharing them with you. So what we're going to do today is we're going all the way back, but not too far back, to Rambo First Blood Part 2 on the Sega Master System. And we're going to listen to the main stage track in just a second, the full thing uncut from start to finish. And then we're going to talk a little bit about the composer, what they've done, and all that kind of stuff. So hope you're enjoying that. And if you want some more of that stuff, be sure to hit us in the comments, hit us up in the comments, I should say, and say, hey, that was a cool idea. How about some more? How about this game or this game or this game or whatever? Hey, I'll take requests. It's kind of like, you know, it's kind of like a radio station, right? You know, you tell me what you want, and I'll go through my fun for fives, and then I'll pull some stuff, and then we'll do it. Now, there is a rule. It has to be from a fun for five. All right? I've had, I must have played it on a fun for five for it to qualify. Or you can suggest that I go get a specific Sega Master System game to go do a fun for five, but... I must actually physically own the title in order for us to do this. So, let's dig in and find out a little bit more about the composer of the fine video game Rambo First Blood Part 2 on the Sega Master System. Now, I'm using <clears throat> SMS Power as my resource for all of the uh, data points in the game, you know, for like credits and all that kind of stuff. So, if there is some mistakes or, you know, something like that, um, sorry, but um, this site tends to have a pretty comprehensive thing about all things Sega 8-bit, uh, so I'm imagining they're correct. So, then we're talking about Rambo First Blood Part 2, or also known as Ashura, or Rambo Secret Commando. There's There's been all sorts of different or Secret Command, Secret Commando. Um, I guess there's been different translations and different versions of this game as it, you know, kind of like, kind of gets released. So music was by Wooper Katsu. But was it? But was it Wooper Katsu? Because Wooper Katsu also is known as Katsushiro Hayashi, who was the main composer, of course, of this particular title. Um, of course, the Rambo main, three, main theme is credited to Jerry Goldsmith, the legendary music composer. He's has done, you know, of course, the Rambo movies. He's done Star Trek. He's done so many more uh, movies. It's like really, really cool. And there was one track called Never to Return that was in the end of the game. Um, and that was done by Derby Tatsuo. So that's the full music credits for... Rambo First Blood Part 2, but what did Wuprikatsu or Katsu, Katsushiro Hayashi do beyond that? Well, he's got a pretty good list of games that he's done music for in the past, and that was Asterisk 
and The Secret Mission. He's done uh, some music with uh, Hiroshi Kawaguchi on Fantasy Zone, The Maze. Um, he worked with Kochi Nami Namiiki um, on Galaxy Force. He did the music for Global Defense, uh, which is a game that I'm actually looking to either... Uh, might be in a box over here, or I might have already picked it up. And then he's done the music for Hoko... Hoko... Whoops. Hokuto no Ken on the Sega Master System. And he has done the music for Quartet, or Double double car or quartet double target um also for the Sega Master System now some of these games I actually have never heard of before so oh, that's kind of interesting now if you go to um back to Galaxy Force and Global Defense those games are uh FM titles so he does have credits for the PSG version which is your chiptune version and the YM2413 um the Yamaha um FM sound chip version as well so that's technically like getting two tracks in one, you know, or two soundtracks in one, uh, in one game, which is kind of the beauty of Sega Master System, right? So that is it for his full credits. That's the only thing that he's done uh, for that. So let's go off to the audio land, put the headphones fully on, boom, and let's take a listen to this track known as just track three, I think. I don't know if there's there's any uh, there's a, if there's any like title information. Let's see. Let's see if we can find a title real quick before we play this play this cool, cool track. Do 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 we have it? It is called We Fight for Friends. Um, which is track number three on the playlist. And you know what? I'm going to just go ahead and link all the stuff from uh, smspower.org uh, to, um, to the description. And then I must say, I got to give a hat tip to a YouTube user called TJ the Wizard 2002 because as I was trying to look for different you know, ways to like hear this, um, I do have a, um, what is it called? I do have the PS, a PSG player, um, but I was just looking for like, all right, can I find this on YouTube? Because like a lot of games are on YouTube. They have like, you know, the different tracks and stuff like that. I just couldn't find it. I went for a half hour before I finally found this user um, on YouTube. And you know what? He's done some, a whole bunch of other games. So go on over, give him some likes, give him some subs, say hi. And thanks, man. Thanks, TJ, the wizard 2002 um, for doing this because, um, you know, we're just going to get down and listen to this track. So let's get to it.
right, that was We Fight for Friends on the Second Master System version of Rambo First Blood Part 2. PSG, of course, was the, uh, the sound chip because that was the only available sound chip for this game. There was no FM version of the game or the game soundtrack. So what do you guys think? I, I mean, it was just like a rocking tune, right? It gets you pumped. You know, that, that driving rhythm. I really like the, um, I really like the way that they, they do that white noise generator for like the snare. Um, this, the bass line is really kind of like really rocking. There's lots of bass and that is very cool. Um, and it's, you know, it's melodic. It just, it just driving, right? It wants to push you. The music wants to push you into action. And of course, as the first level of the game, you're, you know, you're Rambo, you're going to town on all these like enemies are coming in, like things are blowing up all over the place, you know, that kind of thing. It just fits. It really fits. It definitely gets you into the action. Um, and is, I think a great track. Now, is it my favorite track of the game? Hmm maybe but uh for now we're just going to go with this is a awesome track um off of off of this game and you know i know that some people prefer you know sound trips on nes famicom you know like that kind of stuff in the 8-bit era over the sega master system but you know i'd say hat tip you know hat tip to um you know wubrikatsu or uh, uh, Katsushiro Hayashi, because, uh, I mean, this track is awesome. It is, it is just a, an, a really awesome driving track. Um, so again, what do you guys think? Hit me up down below and yeah, let me know what you guys think of this little, uh, you know, four way into learning a little bit about, uh, video game music and, and taking a little listen, uh, to it. You know, let me know if, uh, in the comments below, if you want to see this again, you want to see this crop up. I mean, I really do like it, um, you know, and I've got some cool ideas. I've got some cool ideas, maybe to turn this into something a little bit bigger. Um, so if you guys are really liking it, definitely make sure to let me know because you know, I'm going to keep keep dipping in and um, exploring some more. And, you know, like, that, I don't know, like that cool, like rocking jazzy kind of thing. It's got me got me thinking maybe, you know. If it isn't in these boxes, maybe Global Defense will be one of the next games I get because, you know, the soundtrack was really jumping on Rambo. So, you know, it's it's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. I like, I like having fun with it. So before we go, though, make sure, boom, the friends, of course, you got you to gotta say hi to them, right? You got to give them some likes, give them some subs, give them some all that kind of stuff. Um, all sorts of cool stuff has been dropping lately. Uh, especially stuff for Evercade. You want some more Evercade action? Boom. There's the friends on the other side of the pond. Um, you've got, of course, the Evercade, Evercade fans group live session that happens once a month. It's on the uh, <clears throat> It's Much More channel. You got James over there. He's doing a great job. He's got some awesome guests. Um, yeah, really good times. Really, really good stuff uh, to check it out. Of course, the fans group itself on Facebook, Go in there if you like you like yourself some Evercade, like I do, and give them some love, and say some say hi, to me because I'm in there. Yeah, why not, right? All right. Anyway, that brings us to us here at Bacon Ice Cream Productions. Thank you so much for hanging with us and checking all this stuff out. We really do appreciate that. On the way out, if you could, boom, hit that sub subscribe button for us um, really helps the channel out helps us grow we're so close we're getting really really close thanks for um, the current couple subscribers that happened over the last couple of days thank you welcome welcome to here um, and if you're watching tell a couple more friends you know <laughs> tell them come on over and hit the thing we're really close to 400 um, and who knows maybe we'll do something cool um, to celebrate we always usually deal with the milestones right every hundred um, and of course our goal our main goal is to get us over a thousand so that way we can unlock the channel and do some really awesome things for great causes, as is the mission of Bacon Ice Cream Productions itself. So, until next time, we'll catch you next time for some good times. I'm Rich, and we will see you later. Take it easy, guys.